Hello, welcome back. Last time, 23rd level seems to have gotten done. This was a good one. I enjoyed this level quite a lot. Second last level. Let's see it. Wow, I didn't expect to find a whole city down here. Good deal. Maybe they've got a restroom somewhere. <laughs> That's what he's thinking about. Would this be Neitherville? Welcome to the subterranean town of Neitherville. The locals are always glad to have visitors. Neitherville Board of Tourism. So there's okay. an entire monster city down here. Neat. Uh, challenge in the next room, challenge in the next room, challenge in the next two rooms. Okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing brains will be involved since all these challenge scrolls are placed before the rooms. Let's go the way that doesn't have any. Well, can't go like that. Access a different way. Alright. So, a bunch of evil eyes. Yes, brains. Roach queens. Okay, so this looks like a relatively simple fight room. I probably should make myself a refuge here. That's a very bad refuge. Let's do a little better. That's good enough. Two points of entry, basically. Effectively two. Uh, awaken everybody I can. There we go. Now just kind of muscle my way in here. I'm not dead yet. I'm about to be. Hmm. Unless I can do something like this. Unsurprisingly, no. Okay, let's do that differently. If I step here and just stay here for a moment, that was better. Sure. I guess the key here is basically not to move too fast. And, you know, pay attention to the Roach Queen, probably. Let's get those first before moving on. Sure. I've left myself trapdoors there as if I want to go back. But I can just go out here to reset the room. That checkpoint is way out of the way. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Hi, brains. Hi, goblins. Hi, closed door that I probably can't open from here. Hi, turn counter. You're not actually in the way. Okay, so I enter from here. Got it. Oh, hold up. Okay, yeah, that's a yellow door. For somehow my eyes read it as green for a moment. And I was like, if if you have to open this door to get here, then there must be a mimic in this room somewhere, but no. <laughs> There's like a whole thought process that started up and kind of spun out of control real quick <laughs> uh, before I reined it in. Okay. Uh, hey, careful with that. There is a trapdoor gate here. I did notice it. I didn't say anything about it, but I did notice it. So I gotta use that trick, and you know what else? Also leave a way to go. That's a perfectly adequate way. Let's just do this quickly. Okay, now trapdoors. Okay. There are several brains in this room, and seemingly unnecessary number. There's a roach queen somewhere. Ah, three of them up there. I see. Why don't I go straight there? Well, I'm being given several reasons. Well, I've been too aggressive. Calm down. I'm being too aggressive again, I'm sure. This is going to lead to my demise. Ah, it sure did. I was right. Okay, so, fine. <laughs> Can I get away with this, maybe? I think so. Uh, both sides might be okay still. Yeah, I'm fine.
There we go. Alright, you pests go away. No reproducing monsters. I see somebody coming for me. That's fine. Hi, goblins. You were released by that. Didn't pay attention to what that orb did before I struck it. Is there a trapdoor gate? Nope. I'm going to stab you in this corner. I feel like I arrived here kind of early, but you know, I specifically went there to take out the brains. Well, that's false. I went there to take out the roach queens. The brains were just kind of a bonus. You're all awakening. Uh, taking out the brains is still fine. But in a different layout, it wouldn't have been. Because, yeah, I just realized I need to pull those to me, and I'll bet there's a spot. I won't bet, but there might be a spot. Where I really need to... Brain some monsters to me. And it's not an option to just lead them this way. I mean, I can get around here. Those are all awake. I think I'm fine. Uh, while there is a room clear gate down there, I'm not going to use it on this pass. My trapdoor dropping choices have made it inaccessible. I didn't look to see whether other choices were available that would have kept it accessible without leaving the room. Doesn't matter though, because I can leave the room. Oh, no, bump. Alright. Guess that does mean I have to redo some of this, but not a oh, huge deal. Oops. If I pay at least a little bit of attention. Uh, that's the place. Oh. Where am I? I'm out here now. Oh, there was no reason to go that route. Okay, well, I did it anyway. Big blob of tar. No baby spawning spots in any of those places. None out here. So just get in, stab it, and I'm done. Okay. Don't create any baby creation spaces. Okay, however, these are two wide hallways. Well, this one's not. I haven't actually checked my route, I just kind of went in. <laughs> Sword swinging, you know. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Okay, I did create a baby creation spot. Um, did I have to break that wall? Probably. Well, let's kill this thing and find out if that's a problem. How do I kill this thing? I feel like I have three impenetrable passages here. Four impenetrable passages. If I left the room and entered from over there, maybe it would help. Perhaps that's my goal, because there's no getting through any of this, is there? And it looks like it to me. Um, let's enter the room from here. This looks more possible, and it's road like the one that I'm on, so I think that's the actual puzzle. Come in from another angle. There are some serpents and brains there. There are some roach queens and brains there. There's more tar. Yeah, come in from here. Okay. Um, it might be wanting me to zig and zag through all these little passages. Let's evaluate penetrability. Also, there is a secret here. 
Mm, no, not really. It only goes that far? Really? That's silly. Uh, this is access to something I don't think I care about. Oh boy. This looks like a big headache to untangle. Because yeah, this goes nowhere. I mean, okay, anything that is a too wide, too long hallway is definitely not something I can ever get through. This is a too wide, too long hallway. This is, this is not, this is not, this is not, that's three wide, but then it just leads to a bunch of stuff I don't think I care about. Oh. You know what? Do I have to attack the tar blob now? I mean, no, but I guess I'm gonna. It won't get any more pleasant if I leave it for later. Alright, well, let's see what happens here. Just gonna go this way and hope, I guess. Uh, my hopes didn't do anything good. I'm that. Yeah. Oh, well, hang on. There's this. But now what? Hey. It's not like I can go there. Yeah, I mean, we have a whole bunch of this stuff. That's not opening up, that's impenetrable, that's impenetrable, this... I mean, you can't get there because of that and that, so... that's an impossibility then. So I do have to zig and zag through the grass. If I'm evaluating this topology correctly? Don't know if I am, but this is my impression. Alright. So goal here, get to a western exit. Any of them. Which one? Not this one. Maybe this one. Let's trace this backwards. Yeah, I've been here, I think. So I'll go here. All right. I think when I got in there, I took this route. So I'm going to do it again because I know it works, right? Yeah, I remember standing in this spot right when that happened. Alright, so I'm here. This is where I wanted to be for some reason. Why was that? Because it gets me in... there. Okay. The headache is subsiding. Now that I have a goal, and a way to get to that goal. Okay. Cool. Alright, that's helped. Uh, I stabbed some tar by accident. So I really need to get here then. That's fine, I can do that. Cuts that I make there could make a difference down the road. I'm gonna opt not to worry about it. If I do this instead... So yeah, how good is your tar cut ability prediction? is the question posed by this room. I can't get through there because that's one of those two by twos. Ooh. And also, how far ahead are you willing to look to parse this maze? <laughs> Turns out the answer for me is not very. I'm just gonna stab stuff, then look like two steps ahead and hope that something pops out at me that can work. Uh, two by two. However, this one right here is not. Okay. I'm on the trail of something. If I do this, it'll work better. I 
Am I getting where I need to be? I think so. Uh, am I in trouble? I think so. Maybe not. Bunch of extra broken wall passages that I don't really need, at least for this step of the... Oh, puzzle. There we go. Well, um, I think I'm dead. That, I don't think that saved me. Well, that's a problem. Okay. How about this? That's a better move. Alright, so I'm here now. Anytime I need, I can just wait for a moment and let this grow. But I don't generally feel the need. Oh, is that it? Okay. Once I was there, it was no problem. Okay, great. Ah. <laughs> so then, other Tar Mother is there. So route to her was not through any of this. Not this. Maybe this. I've been kind of in this general area, so if I can get here, I can clear this room, probably. So now we do it backwards. Doing it backwards did not necessitate using this passage. Doing it forward didn't either, though, did it? No, I, in fact, specifically commented that that one was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Uh, impenetrable, impenetrable. I think I can get through there, though. Uh, okay, well... I would say... Boy, this would be harder without a threat clock. <laughs> but as soon as I was about to phrase that, I realized I'm really not using the threat clock to my advantage. So the way I'm playing is... But why am I why am I doing this? I'm just putting in, like, the minimum of effort here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just look at this room. Is this a room you really want to put effort into if you don't have to? Oh, it's just a bunch kind of... of thing really tires me out. Beethor gets it. See? All right, and now those are there. Well, I wonder if he's commenting on that, like the fact now, that there. Are... How do I get out of here? <laughs> that too. So I may have some traversal problems, uh, both in terms of exiting the room and in clearing the last few tar babies. It's very possible there was some special preparation I had to do before doing that step does kind of look as though I probably lost my access to important things. However, maybe not. This might be intentionally set up to be friendly about what shapes the tar reduces to. Okay, well that's all the babies at least. Room is clear. Now, how do I get out of here? How about this way? That's probably most reliable. Oops. Then how do I get out of here is the real question. Uh, if I cut this from here, it doesn't make it any more traversable than from there. This should be accessible, though, if I put a little bit of work into it. Uh, no, no. Uh, let's use these to do that. That helps. Got something going here.
Where am I going though? Right, I was trying to get there so I could exit that. There might be better choices, but that's the one that I'm making. Uh, okay, that helped. Yes, I'm there. Okay, um, I'm here. This should be traversable if growth is not required, because this is the way that I came in. Yes, that's no, that's not. Oh, that's no good either. Oh, I may have a problem then. If neither one of those works. Yeah, so this would be where the growth requirement would come in. Okay, well this is three wide here. I might be able to just kind of skitter my way through there. It does look almost that way. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, no means yes. For some reason, English is weird. Uh, this is uncomfortable. That doesn't quite lead out anywhere, like impenetrable, 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 penetrable if I could get to it. Do I care? This might be a route out. Let's try it, I guess. No, it's, no, yeah, it's, I mean, I landed in this room. I should probably do this room. This is creative. I don't. I don't dislike what's going on here. I mean, this is one of those things that, like, <laughs> into intellectually, I'm kind of enjoying the idea of what's happening. But, like, in the moment, I'm not feeling so great about this. So, yeah, big wall all along here. There's no way I'm going north of this unless I'm all the way over there, which I won't be. So, it's this room I need to focus on? That helped. That was a better way to approach that. You remember Tar Stuff Horticulture Facility? That was another hold that I appreciated in concept, even though I did not particularly enjoy the process of playing through it. When I got through it, I think I said something like, this is a hold that's more meant to be observed than actually played, is what it felt like to me. I'm not saying this is anything like that, just sort of pointing out that, like, there can be different different layers of enjoyment, even, like, actual raw enjoyment, if it's not involved. Boy, like, I'm sure I'm glad I can click and see that this leads nowhere. It's awfully silly that there is indeed a secret wall there. Here there's nothing, here there's nothing, here there's nothing. So there are no other secret walls around this spot, but it's like, this broken wall is here to make you think either, hmm, I might want to come through there sometime, or there's a secret. Then you check and find, oh, there is a secret. But then you do a further check and no, there's nothing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's weird. Uh, orbs. This bit of grass here kind of stands out in this pattern for some reason. It's like, this, there's, there's something going on here. Um, one orb for each chamber, a Mimic potion in that one. Okay, so the Mimic's gonna do some of the work. Uh, Roach Queen wants to fill up the chambers so I lose my Mimic placement space, maybe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't see a reason not to do all that. Hit all the orbs at once. Hi, serpents. You're out here. I'm gonna mostly ignore you. Oh, but you're brained, so you're extra pesky. All right, fine. I'll use a mimic to kill you. Uh, how will I do that? I don't know yet. Whatever I'm trying here... Okay, here we go. How about this? That works. 
All right, mimic. Kill that roach queen. Whichever one she is. Is it this one? It is. And the brain too. And don't get yourself trapped on that arrow. You did it. Um, sure, that's a start. Here, roaches, give me some leverage. Thanks. That way I don't have to go as far. Well, except I have to go somewhere. That's fine. Uh, okay, I have to go a little farther. That's fine. Uh, yes, that's fine. I'm coming out here just so Bethro has more room to, to maneuver. It feels better. Than being in those cramped hallways, even though it'd be faster to stay in the cramped hallways. Sometimes you just gotta do what feels good. Alright, Mimic. Get yourself norther. And that's not gonna work. Okay, fine. So, find a way, somehow, to do what you need to... Okay, here. How about if I do this? Does that help? There we go. Then I can do that. Again, just kind of putting in the minimum effort here. <laughs> This doesn't interest me as a puzzle, so I just want to do what it takes to get the room done without really engaging in the systems more at my turn at the controls. Oh, this reminds me, there were challenge scrolls distributed in places that I should probably pay attention to before I do the rooms. Uh, none there, none here, so finding them might not be the easiest thing in the world. Oh wait, no, that one was back two rooms. Right, okay, so there's a challenge for this room. <laughs> yeah, so they have to be given at the start. Okay, so I should pay attention to those. I just kind of, like, wandered off in a direction. Uh, in the room beyond, don't use the mimic to strike any orbs. Oh, didn't even think of doing that. Okay, <laughs> well, challenge happened by accident. Kill all serpents before killing all brains. Okay, let's just sort of, like, close this loop. Serpent first... Uh, kill serpents while brained. Got it. Okay. Um, not really a fan of the starting position, but I guess I can deal with it. I see a really super great killing spot right there. How do I open this? That. How do I open one of these? That. Okay, so here, 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 stand there. gonna be hassled from all sides as I do this, but... Oh boy, um... Okay. I'll have to wait a moment longer... F I, I, how? Like this. Okay. A serpent died, that's nice. Alright. Hey, serpent faces. Come meet your doom right here. There we go. Okay, now let's kill some brains. I wonder if I lost my opportunity to kill those. No, no, no. They'll come back around in the rotation, probably. Alright, so just go to whatever's open. I guess I never hit that orb. There is clearly an order to this, and yeah, I could have totally just killed those brains as I went by, but you know, that would have taken extra turns that I didn't want to take, because there were serpents after me. Trying to chew my face off. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I should probably pay some attention. What opens you? That. 
I did accidentally close these though, so I have to start over in the sequence or something? Okay, well that's open now. Okay, so when I get an orb choice, now that I've started over, let's start paying attention to what that choice is. Uh, first time I get a choice is right here. So does any of this lead to unkilled brains that I need to kill? No. So definitely use this orb. Uh, that's not going to help. Yes, it will. Maybe. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Great. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. I'm going to call that good enough. All right, so I did this this little square of rooms. That's a rectangle. <laughs> Close enough. All right. Um, so I'm going to extrapolate and say the area I'm looking at, since this does look like a northwest wall, is surely not just that large. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more rooms? I don't know. Could be. Uh, we'll find out next time. I'll see you then.